Michelle Rochette from Quebec, Canada, fighting Troy the Destroyer Dorsey. 12 rounds for the World Super Lightweight Championship. Tough. Dorsey has seen the inside of both boxing and kickboxing, and he offers a unique perspective on both. Uh, I think there are challenges out there, and, and I just have to rise to the occasion. Really, I feel that uh, kickboxing is tougher because you're throwing the leg, you with, you're withstanding much more punishment, and also uh, your legs withstand, uh, have to go through a lot more punishment also, your arms and your legs. So kickboxing seems to be a little tougher sport. I don't think it's gonna be much different because I always spar much larger guys than I fight, than, I, than in my division, and uh, I fought featherweight division for 12 years. So it's not like something that I've done for a few years and then I'm just jumping up just because I'm too lazy to, to lose the weight. It's, I just simply can't make the weight and be a good, strong fighter. I'm a sick fighter if I make that weight. Well, it's, it's scheduled for 12 rounds and uh, 12 rounds or less, hopefully less. And uh, for me, I'm not gonna predict a knockout. I'm just gonna go in there and do my best and, and try to wear Michelle Rochette down and, and finish him if the opportunity arises i'll finish him off early if it doesn't arise late i'll do it late if it doesn't arise at all i won't but i'll i'll, I'll be giving 100 percent it'll be a war either way it's going to be a good fight no question about it troy dorsey is texas born and bred you can hear it in his voice and there is the man himself moving up in weight to take on the canadian michelle rochette featherweight champion against the world super lightweight champion Michelle Rochette and Troy Dorsey let's go to Jerry Hoffman ladies and gentlemen the time has come for the ISKA world super lightweight championship scheduled for 12 rounds Cecil Peoples the referee Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner in the gray pants, weighing 133 pounds. This Canadian star owns a record of 31 and 3 with 16 knockouts. He is the current ISKA World Super Lightweight Champion. Let's say hello to Michel Rocher. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner in the black Pants, he weighs in at 134 and a quarter pounds from Mansfield, Texas. He is the only boxer and kickboxer ever to hold the world title at the same time. His record, an impressive 32 and 2 with 18 knockouts in a year. Troy, the destroyer, Darcy. Well All right, here's a look at our matchup. Rochette, 34 years of age. Dorsey, 33. Once again, very close in weight. Both men on the small side in terms of physique. Long reach, though, for Rochette for a man his size. There is the champion. His first fight since last fall and only his third fight in the last two years. Well, I think he's been active in boxing, but this is uh, his third kickboxing match in two years. So he's really been working on his legs. We last saw Troy Dorsey defending the featherweight title in Las Vegas against Alexei Nachayev. Chaya knocked Troy down in the second round. Of course, he came back strong, knocked out the Ukrainian fighter in the sixth. One of the mo most impressive action-packed kickboxing bouts ever seen in this country. He says tonight will be even better.
Marcy Doan is a tremendous kicker. He throws as many as 5,000 kicks in training each week. Well, I tell you what, Rochette better earn some respect with his hands or Dorsey's going to walk all over him. Troy's the type of fighter that just keeps moving forward. Punch out! Punch out! As you can see from those numbers, Punch plenty out. of action in the first round of this 12-rounder. Dorsey generally is a slow starter, but it looks like in this bout he wants to get some respect early. Fight out, good. Fight out! Fight out, gentlemen! Punch out! Look at that right hand for Rochette, and another. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, big right hand. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. Oh. And at the bell, Dorsey drops Rochette with a back kick. This one of my that um, right hand that he stunned him with. Tremendous straight right. right. There. I think, Don, that that was the right hand uh, that d damaged the nose, caused that nose bleed. And then came right back with a jump spin and back kick, which is a very flashy, unusual technique a as a finisher. Dorsey is a tremendous kicker. Uh, a lot of people don't think so because he's so good with his hands, but this jump spin and back kick almost was right on the face. Yeah, that says it all right there, Mike. He can do it all. We get round number two. Impressive head movement by Dorsey. Four jabs by Rochette on this. Yeah, and uh, Troy not really known for his defense. Looks like a new Troy Dorsey we're seeing here. Sure does. Gone is the slow starter. Gone is the lead with my face. Tremendous performance in the first three rounds. Fighters before the fight told us they planned to be aggressive in the early rounds, and we're seeing that. Rochette getting the short end of it thus far. Rochette a little bit here. It seems like Rochette's getting the second win. One of Rochette's comments to us through the translator before the fight was he felt that Dorsey did underestimate him. He wanted to gain some respect uh, from Dorsey. Punch out! Of course, the first few rounds have been a little rough for him, but he's far from giving up. And he's a champion, too. Come on! Come on! Punch out! Punch out! Punch out! And so we come to the end of round two, and we'll spend this break in Roy Dorsey's corner. This is just, he overshot his mark and uh, clean slip. No contact on that. Dorsey likes to surprise opponents with that spinning hook kick. He knocked down Steve Dimitrick with it very cleanly and uh, two title defenses ago. Just missed with it. Very nice side kick to the face by Punch out! Now, I would expect Rochette was counting on Troy to be more of a puncher than he's been. Not that his punching isn't effective, but I mean, with these big kicks. Uh, he's doing some 
some damage with those kicks. Just shook that front kick to the face right off and kept straight on coming. Right hand seems to keep slipping in on Rochette, Don. What is he doing? Is he dropping that button? Well, I tell you, you know, um, it's not so much of what Rochette is doing wrong. It's more or less what he's doing right. Um, he's just got Watch good out, timing Watch with that out. right hand. He seems to, to catch Rochette with his left hanging out there just for a second and going right over the top of it. During his boxing career, Troy Dorsey shared the ring twice with Jorge Paez and once with Oscar De La Hoya. He's been in the ring with some great punchers. Right, Troy, Troy is stepping a little bit to his left and throwing that overhand right, and it's right on the button. He's got his body behind his punches, whereas Rochette is more or less arm punching. Fearless in there. Right there is one of the few times we've seen him back up at all in this fight. He lands another big right on the inside there. That right hand, right roundhouse kick combination has served him very well uh, throughout the bout so far. It's not that Rochette's not landing. He's landing, but it's just not having the same effect as Troy's punches are. Troy seems to get more body behind his punches. We see tremendous hip rotation by Dorsey in those punches. He makes the most uh, of the stature that he's got. Where Rochette seems to be a little more uh, leaning backwards as he's punching forward. Although he's definitely landing the blows now. And those are all clean scores, by the way. They may not be stopping or backing up, Troy, but they are clean scores. Last 15 seconds, possibly the best 15 seconds of the bout for Rochette. Is when Troy lands one, it backs Rochette up. If Rochette lands two or three, it doesn't uh, quite have the same effect. After the round, stay in the blue corner with Michelle Rochette. Hey, 
As you can see, Rochette has won fairly recently, whereas Troy Dorsey has not. Yet he seems to have a lot of confidence in his ability to take punishment. And he comes into this fight off of surgery to reduce his sensitivity to cuts. Dorsey decided on that surgery after his bout with Oscar De La Hoya last fall. Here's our replay uh, from the fourth round. Right, and if he keeps taking kicks like that, all the surgery in the world is gonna keep him from getting cut. Basically, they ground down bones on Dorsey's face that he felt were causing cuts from underneath his skin as he took punches. Well, the De La Hoya fight ended early because of a cut, and, and Dorsey was determined at that time that would not be his fate in boxing or kickboxing for the future. Well, he felt he was losing decisions because of the blood. In fact, he has quite a sense of humor about it. He says, sometimes I'd start bleeding as they were giving the pre-fight instructions. <laughs> not far from wrong. seems to be just to get on the inside and just match power for power against Rochette. It, it's, he doesn't seem to be a slick fighter uh, in this fight anyway. He just seems to want to come in and get down to business. So far, that has served him well. Don, how do you have it on your own official scorecard? Uh, I've got Dorsey uh, ahead quite a bit, actually. I've got him ahead by three rounds. But that's uh, because of the knockdown and uh, his constant pressure. I mean, they say you have to come and take the champion's title away, and there's no doubt about it, Dorsey came here to take something away from Rochette. Rochette tried to kick from the ropes a minute ago. You can lean against the ropes and kick. You cannot hold the ropes with one hand and kick. Legal maneuver, but no real damage on Dorsey. Round number five of a scheduled 12. And Michel Rochette, after finding himself in trouble in the early round against Troy Dorsey, appears to be coming back a little bit. When you hit him, you get on his ass like a duck on a deer You knock him halfway across the ring, but you're taking your time to get there. And he's got his defense back up. from our corner cam. actually walked right into things. Just, they just haven't had the same effect on his techniques. Right there, big right hand. That's the kind of effect that Dorsey's been putting on Rochette tonight that's been making the difference. Tremendous power in that right hand by Dorsey. Full hip rotation, full body momentum. I'm surprised Rochette got up. Well, he's the champ and he's a tough guy. If I were Rochette, I would have that left hand plastered to my face right now. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up. 
Dorsey is looking again for the right hand. Throws like a shark, he smells blood. He look, he's looking to finish it. Seconds remaining in round number six. Very game, Michelle Rochette in there. Just nothing really on those punches. Uh, a lot of punishment in this round, uh, meted out by Troy Dorsey. Now, Bob and Don, I'm not. Uh, I'm not the best with my French right now, but I can tell you that Serge Laflamme has a steady stream of advice for Michelle Rochette going right now in that corner. Yeah, uh, these bombs have been landing all night. When, when Troy hits him with his right hand, I mean, there's just no way he's gonna take something like that. That punch would have knocked out a lesser man than Michelle Rochette. Prettiest straight right hand I've seen in a long time, Don. It actually did knock him down, Mike. I think it was just a little delayed reaction there. Well, knocked out, uh, I'm sorry. But that uh, uh, that punch could have turned things around here if, Mich if Michelle ah, Rochette's able to recover or not. Troy Dorsey getting to measure his opponent a little bit more now, taking his time. Like a slip. Good call by Cecil Peoples. Hard to overstate the athletic ability of these fighters. Consider any prize fight you've seen with two boxers reeling at the end. Imagine fighting that way on one foot most of the time. Both of these men are in their early 30s. Uh, Dorsey 33, Rochette 34. Both been fighting for many years. They're experienced, they're in their prime as kickboxers. And boxing, you considered once you get a little bit over 30, you're getting old. But kickboxers, for some reason, because of the style of fighting, seem to last a little longer. Oh, and a hard kick to Rochette's back. That could have been a kidney shot, of course, unintentional because Rochette was actually turning. He turned into it. Don, if I recall, you fought your last title about at 38 years old. Didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. Um, yeah, although I was not quite in my prime, I <laughs> successfully defended my title. Mike. Of course not, Don. Now you're in your prime. Right, right. Thanks, Bob. It looks to me like Troy is just trying to take his time, measure his man, and land another one of those big punches. are seeing some tremendous exchange of punches in this round. And there's the end of the round. Now let's go to Cynthia Rothrock, who joins us as an analyst. She's standing by with Frida Gibbs, the new super lightweight world champion. Cynthia. Earlier tonight, Frida upset the number one woman light welterweight champion, who was named the most dangerous woman in the world. Frida, how does that feel? Now you're the most dangerous woman in the world. I feel like an everyday person. It's, it's a great feeling. I, I felt phenomenal going in there and I, I feel phenomenal now. Great, and I'm sure that takes a lot of hard work and training, and you put a lot of preparation into this fight. Absolutely. I owe a lot of thanks to uh, Eric Nolan Academy School in, in Bakersfield, and also I owe a lot of thanks to uh, the Muay Thai Academy North Hollywood uh, Saxon for preparing me for this fight 100%. Uh, thank you for your good luck to you in the future, and back to you, Bob. All right, thank you, Cynthia. No doubt we're going to hear a lot more about Frida Gibbs, an astonishing upset of French woman Valerie Hennon tonight. Just one of the highlights. A great night of martial arts. We move on to round number eight of 12 scheduled. And you know Rochette came right out and got on the aggressive. Punch out, punch out. Yes, he wants to definitely show the judges that he's, he's recuperating. Doesn't have much choice, really. He's, he's tried laying back a little. Uh, nothing so far has kept him out of 
range of uh, the Dorsey uh, right hand, right roundhouse kick. No, it's been an onslaught. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's not a matter of Rochette not being able to land. He just can't, he can't stop Dorsey. Put yourself in Rochette's shoes. Every time you look up, Troy Dorsey is right there. Right, he's not the kind of fighter you have to go uh, look for. Punch out! Punch out! Punch out! crowd here tonight witnessing these bouts. Almost 12,000 uh, at fight time. Watch out! Well, here's Punch something out. we haven't Go seen tonight is, is Rochette putting Dorsey Punch on the ropes, but that could be Dorsey playing possum. That's the right hand he has consistently landed tonight. End of the round. Roy Dorsey, the aggressor all the way, will stay in his corner. rancher down in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Among his herds, cattle, sheep, and ostriches. Snap that right hand when you throw that right hand. You're driving it. Snap it right out of the shoulder. our corner camera on the hat of the corner man talking to Troy Dorsey. And here's the view he has of his fighter. All right, guys. You got him. Just keep, it, keep up the work. Keep up the work. Put hands together. Put the hands together, the feet together, and just like you, when you hurt him that time, you got him. Take a look at one of those big right hands from Troy Dorsey. He's just perfectly timing these punches. Off the head! Off the head! It's not so much everything that Rochette's doing wrong, it's basically just Troy doing things right tonight. Under the left eye of Rochette is getting worse. Oddly enough, uh, we thought that would be a factor uh, with Dorsey, but uh, he's yet to show any blood. by Rochette. In fact, almost every technique by these fighters has home run written all over it. You can't overemphasize the amount of power we're hearing here at ringside. Punch out! Punch out! Punch out! Shots you're hearing come from Dorsey. Fight out! With every blow, Dorsey is, is uttering a... He's got him hurt again. End of the round and not a moment too soon for Michelle Rochette who is taking unbelievable punishment in this fight, but he just keeps carrying on. No 
go to work once again on Rochette's left cheek. Just underneath the left eye. You know, Bob, if I was in Rochette's corner, I don't know what I'd be telling him because he's hitting Troy and he just doesn't have the same effect, the same power that Troy is putting on him. And, uh, you know, you can't teach a fighter how to get more power in between rounds. A little late. Referee calls time to do some cleaning up in the blue corner. Bring that water. Troy puts home Punch run out. on every one of those right hands. As effective as that right hand has been, that right roundhouse kick uh, under the left arm of Rochette has done its damage as well. Absolutely, that's probably been what's been opening up that overhand right. And Troy's been an effective kicker as well as puncher. That's the one you were talking about right there, Mike. Bad move by Rochette. Right, he's he's looking very weak right now. Less than a minute to go. To try to cover and turn his eyes away from Dorsey is an inviting disaster. He seems to be just trying to survive at this point. Don, what is he going to have to do in these last two rounds of this bout? Rochette's going to have to score some. Oh, good shot there by Rochette. You know, that's the uh, front kick that's worked for him several times tonight. seconds of round number 10. Four minutes of kickboxing remaining. I want to remind our viewers, karate schools are in every city and every uh, state in the country. Educational Funding Company is affiliated with a thousand of the best. That number on your screen, 301-654-8666 is the number to call. 8677, I'm sorry. It's the number to call for educational funding. They can steer you to the karate school closest to you. Well, I'm with you, Mike. You have to wonder what's going on in Michelle Rochette's corner. What can you tell a fighter who has been so thoroughly dominated and taken so much punishment? Well, we're going into the last two rounds of a 12-rounder. This is no man's land. Don, yes. you've been there before. What do we look for now? Gamely to mount a charge. Everything in the book by Dorsey in this bout. Spinning hooks, hook kicks, right hands, left jabs, roundhouse kicks. Up here. Be able to lift your leg like that in the 11th round, Don. Well, he definitely proved that the layoff from kickboxing has not hurt him. He can kick. He's been throwing the spin kicks, the more complicated kicks. Um, it is not. He's not worse for the wear for having been a little inactive as a kickboxer. Of course, he was a kickboxer and a martial artist long before he ever boxed. Right out, guys. Right out, gentlemen. At this point, Michelle Rochette fighting like a man who just does not want to get hit anymore. 
Corey. I don't know how he's going to accomplish that. Corey Dorsey has been on target throughout 10 hard rounds. Coming down to the end of the 11th now. It's just become a matter of survival for Rochelle. End of the round, one remaining. The sand is running out of the hourglass for Michelle Rochette as this man, Troy Dorsey, has absolutely dominated him. Now in his mid-30s, Troy Dorsey won his first kickboxing bout at age 15. You were snapping that left good that time. No, you're doing, getting some good shots in. You wasn't too damn close. With the right it was. Well, with the right, with that left, so you were working his ass over that left. He thought he was fighting the damn up. Okay. Okay. All right, baby. Use that jab Last hard round. on the inside of this net. In the end the round, let's take this sucker out. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. So we come out for the final two minutes of kickboxing. by knockout, that's it. Um, Troy completely ahead, totally dominating this fight. Very game, Michelle Rochette, never a quitter. Taking a lot of punishment, but he's still punching and kicking in the 12. Well, he may feel a new lightness coming over him, and that would be his ISKA World Super Lightweight belt being lifted by the Texan. Troy Dorsey being a little cavalier and covering up. I think he knows he's got this fight in the bag. Right, he would have to make a tremendous mistake to lose this bout. Spin a back fist by Dorsey, hurt Rochette, followed up with a second one that missed. Up, up, up the head, up the head. Then went in the other direction. There is the front kick that has landed consistently for Rochette, and he called those not not near enough to stop Troy. Final seconds running out on Michelle Rochette's championship. Absolutely tremendous performance from Troy Dorsey. He congratulates his opponent and knows he has this one won. We'll ask Don Wilson to step into the ring to try to get a word with our winner. After a pretty astonishing show from Troy Dorsey. Now here is a guy that most pundits might thought doesn't really need to fight at all. He's made his money, bought some real estate down in Texas. But as a man, he says, I can't let go of it. I just don't know how to stop fighting. What do you see in the future for a guy like this? Well, Bob, Troy Dorsey wants to fight for at least three more years, maybe four. Even while he held the boxing world title, he told me he still wanted to defend his kickboxing title along with the boxing title fight in both sports as a world champion in both equally. I think that he's going to go for another boxing title as well as defending his ISKA super lightweight crown. Husband and father of two and quite a humble man outside the ring. Troy Dorsey, it would appear, this is very unofficial, but it would appear that Troy Dorsey has himself a championship. Let's go to our ring announcer, Jerry Hoffman. By scores of 120, 110, 120, 112, 0.5, and 119 to 110, the winner and still ISKA World Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Troy the Destroyer, Dorsey! Hey! All right. Ah! Look good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me get this way.
red shirt on. And Troy Dorsey accepting congratulations from his cornermen. In one exchange there, when Dorsey was wrapped up with Michelle Rochette on the ropes, Dorsey looked over into press row and said hello to some of his friends. It got a great round of applause. Let's get up to Don. Troy, another world championships. Congratulations, great show. Thank you. It went your way all night long. We had you way ahead. What are you gonna do now as far as kickboxing? First, I wanna thank God. Say hello to my wife, Shelly and Kendra. Happy birthday, Shane. And thank all of my instructors and students at my school on Garland Road in Dallas, Texas. Well, I've been off a year, had cosmetic surgery to solve the cut problem. Well, I'm not cut, and I have been cut in my last two kickboxing matches, so that's a, that's a positive sign. Now, pick up uh, kickboxing and boxing both again and go out there a world title. I got another one in kickboxing, one goal accomplished. Now I gotta get a world title in boxing and do it again. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations, Troy. Great fight, thank you, and you've got another world title, buddy. Congratulations. Okay, thank you. All right. Back to you, Bob. All right, thank you, Don. As Texas as he can be, Troy the Destroyer Dorsey is the new ISKA World Super Lightweight Champion. And he's got so much more going on in his life. I would imagine they're probably dancing in Dallas, Texas right about now. Uh, Troy Dorsey, 